Today, I will teach you concrete steps to become a master manipulator. Be sure to watch until the end, as this video will be very detailed and therefore a bit longer. Let's begin with the first technique. Establishing similarity is a powerful way to get someone to do what you want. This could be anything from impressing someone at a party to convincing your boss to give you a raise. The key is to create a strong sense of familiarity as people naturally gravitate towards those who are like themselves. To do this, pay attention to the way they talk and try using similar words and phrases. Observe their body language and mirror it. This could be as simple as holding your drink the same way they do or leaning against the wall similarly. But remember, when mirroring someone's actions or words, it's crucial to be subtle and non-obvious. If it's too apparent, people may be offended and this could backfire. Next on our list is signing up for a drama or theater workshop. Mastering not only your emotions, but also your expressions, voice, and body language is crucial to convincingly portraying your feelings to others. Have you ever tried faking distress or disillusionment to get your way? Taking a theater, drama, or acting class can greatly improve your manipulation skills. To become a master manipulator, you must know and control your emotions. Practice using your emotions and expressions at will adapting to various situations as required. Remember, being able to recognize and use your emotions strategically is a vital skill for any manipulator to develop. Let's discuss another crucial aspect, developing charisma. Charismatic individuals effortlessly persuade others to do their bidding, often charming them into adopting their way of thinking and behavior. So, how can you develop charisma? Start by radiating a warm and friendly vibe, exhibiting approachable and open body language, and engaging others in captivating conversations, even if you've just met them. Master manipulators practice their conversational skills, generously complimenting others and making them feel special. Maintain eye contact with those you wish to influence, demonstrating genuine interest in their feelings, emotions, and interests, even if you don't truly care. Confidence is key to boosting charisma. People with magnetic personalities know the impact they have on others, which only heightens their confidence, making them appear even more charismatic. This creates a cycle of increasing positive attributes. When you have faith in yourself and your abilities, you're more likely to influence or manipulate others effectively. Moving on to the next aspect of mastering manipulation, we'll discuss the importance of practicing reading people. Everyone has a distinct personality and a unique spiritual, psychological, and mental makeup. People won't respond uniformly to your manipulation techniques, so it's essential to understand each person's individual triggers that drive their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Before devising an elaborate plot to manipulate someone, study their personality thoroughly. What makes them tick? What approach will be most effective in getting them to do what you want? What are their most significant fears, motives, and needs? Here are some tips for reading people accurately. Identify if people are more prone to emotional responses. These individuals may be easier to manipulate emotionally or psychologically. They often cry during movies, feel instant connections with animals, or display strong sympathy and empathy for others. To influence them, tap into their emotions until they feel pity for you and give in to your desires. Some people are more open to logical or rational approaches. They need facts, figures, statistics, and evidence to buy into what you say. If you notice that someone frequently keeps up with news reports or requires hard facts and figures before making crucial decisions, you'll need to adopt a calm, persuasive, and fact-oriented strategy while trying to influence them. Speak in a composed, balanced, and rational manner without resorting to an overt display of emotions. Use subtle, calm, and gentle persuasive powers to manipulate their thoughts and behaviors. By honing your ability to read people, you can effectively tailor your manipulation techniques to each individual's unique characteristics, increasing your chances of success. Now let's dive into another classic and proven manipulation technique, following an unrealistic request with a reasonable one. This technique is simple, yet highly effective. It starts with the manipulator making an outrageous request, quickly followed by a more reasonable and realistic one. In doing so, you give the other person a chance to compare the two requests and feel more psychologically relieved with the second one after being shaken by the first. The initial request causes a significant surge of tension, followed by instant relief when the second request is presented. This dynamic makes it easier for the person to give in to the reasonable request. By employing this technique, you capitalize on the other person's natural tendency to compare options and feel more comfortable agreeing to a more rational request after being confronted with an unreasonable one. We're moving forward with our exploration of becoming a master manipulator. In this section, we'll discuss a technique called induce fear, then relief. Many marketers, brand managers, advertisers, and business owners 
prey on the fears of consumers to manipulate them into buying from them. Make the person imagine the worst situation followed by helping them feel relieved. This sneaky little trick will help you get them to do precisely what you want them to. For example, you could say something like, when I borrowed your favorite book, I accidentally knocked over my coffee mug and thought it spilled all over the pages. I was sure I had ruined your book. However, I realized that the coffee missed the book by mere inches. What a relief. Then, you could follow up by asking, by the way, do you mind if I borrow another book from your collection for the weekend? See what we did there? We took the person on a whirlwind of emotions, from fear to immediate relief that the book is still in good condition after all. They will be in a more positive and receptive frame of mind, which will increase your chances of having your way with them. Now we continue with guilt. Guilt is an excellent tool for manipulating someone into your way of thinking, feeling, and doing. This works even more effectively on people who aren't sure of themselves, do not possess a very high self-confidence level, or are generally indecisive by nature. For example, imagine you have a friend who didn't join you for an important event. You could induce guilt by saying something like, it's all right, I didn't expect anything else from you. This implies that they always let you down, and you don't expect anything better from them. Notice how some individuals induce guilt in others by stating that they don't spend enough time with them or don't do much for them. This strategy can be used to manipulate people into doing what you want, even if they're already going out of their way to accommodate your needs. Continuing our exploration of manipulation techniques, let's examine the art of playing the victim. Playing the victim card is another time-tested manipulation strategy. Often people will portray themselves as disadvantaged to attract sympathy or support. They manipulate popular opinion in their favor by demonstrating the unfairness they've been subjected to or the disadvantages they faced due to their circumstances. Use this technique carefully and cleverly to get it right without overdoing it. Essentially, you're telling others that you're a wonderful and giving person, but the universe seems to be against you. Rather than arguing or fighting with people to have your way, simply act calm and accepting of the situation. For example, if a coworker refuses to give you a ride back home from the office, tell them it's all right. Say something like, I could do with the exercise since no one is willing to help. It's absolutely fine. This approach can make the other person feel guilty and reconsider their decision. Never admit to using manipulation tactics. Some people are quite perceptive and can recognize manipulation from a distance, especially if you've been using the same techniques repeatedly. If someone, be it a friend, manager, or partner, confronts you about employing sneaky, manipulative tactics, never admit to it. Instead, act shocked and say something like, I can't believe you actually said that, or I can't believe you think that way about me. This reaction will make the person feel guilty for accusing you of using manipulative techniques. Under no circumstances should you ever admit to using manipulation because it will be extremely difficult to influence that individual again in the future. We've all done this at least once, flirted our way into people's hearts and minds to get them to do what we want. You can't simply issue orders and expect others to comply. People can't be forced to do what you want. They have to like you, or even better, adore you. By flirting, you invoke positive emotions and give yourself the power to make a more favorable impact on the other person. Flirting can be a playful, non-threatening way to interact with others and gently influence their thoughts or actions. It can help break down barriers and create a sense of connection, making it easier to persuade someone to see things from your perspective. Thank you for watching this video. I assure you, with my guidance, you too can become a master manipulator. You're learning from the best, after all. Manipulation is an incredibly powerful skill, and those who wield it effectively can shape the world around them. Remember, this channel isn't for everyone. It's for those who dare to explore the depths of human psychology and aren't afraid to push the boundaries. I've put a lot of effort into creating this content, and I'm confident that it will provide valuable insights for those ready to embrace it. So, trust in my guidance, and together, we'll unlock the secrets of manipulation. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue the journey, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Until next time, stay fearless and keep pushing the limits.